He, I mean, you look at him though. He's a lot. He was kind of slim there. <laughs> That's slim. Well, look at him later <laughs> on. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Jailbreak Pack Rip Battle. These are our videos we put out on my channel, Vintage Sport Flips, where we rip a pair of vintage packs in a competition to see who does better. Uh, so, Andy, this week we have a pair of 1989 Upper Deck packs. Oh, a yeah, pair I of, know that. Pair of foil packs. Uh, I didn't. I didn't open up many of these. I mean, I was collecting a lot in '89, but I don't think these were like readily readily available where we lived. I, I don't know if you did. No, I don't think I. Yeah, I was like. I know the car everybody was going for, obviously, yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. And like that was the hottest card, I feel like, forever. But yeah, uh, yeah I don't ever remember opening a pack. And I don't know if it was like because it was so expensive or like you said, they, we just couldn't get them or something. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing them. And I remember I bought a Ken, Gr Ken Griffey Jr. rookie at like a card show that year or the next year. Yeah. Uh, but I never, I don't think I opened these. I opened a lot of 89 tops, which is probably the worst set in the history of, of baseball cards. But uh, yeah. All yeah. Bad then. yeah 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 maybe 88 tops might be worse but it's a close a close yeah. second yeah so uh but yeah that's what we that's what we got tonight we got a pair of these obviously the big card as you said ken griffey jr rookie card but there are some other big rookies in the set nothing on the par of ken griffey jr but gary yeah. sheffield randy johnson john smoltz i think right so yeah exciting exciting pair here so andy you're going to choose either my the right pack or the left pack if you want to go I'm first gonna, i'm gonna go with the right pack this time right right pack all right mm -hmm. let me get over to the rip stage i feel like i should go second i feel like you always go first i always go first you want me to go first i'll go yeah, first. i'll go, go i'll take the left pack first all right all right so this is the left pack right correct correct left pack all right here we're going to open up a pack a pack of 1989 upper deck Baseball cards. Let's. Where did you before you open? Where did you find these? Were these at? Uh, do you got them at a um, show or something? Yeah, these were at the national. And did you? How much did you pay for them? Uh, I bought so many wax packs and packs. <laughs> that I forget. I think they were like ten a piece or fourteen a piece. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Here we go. Oh wow, yeah, that's smooth. <laughs> it's not even. Uh... Yeah, it looks like foil, but it's more it's paper. Like paper, yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, cool, cool starting card. Really, I like it. That's right. One of the better nicknames in baseball there, Oil Can Void. I don't think we had him on our nickname show either. Which no, is that's cool. a pretty pretty cool nickname. Yeah. Anytime your nickname is your name on the card, that's that's you know a pretty impressive name. Yeah, yeah. If your nickname makes the card, you got a good name. Gary Ward. He looks like he's a manager. <laughs> Oh man, they're going to be spinning me the whole time here. BJ Serhoff, good catcher for the Brewers. I remember him. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Bo Diaz. Don't remember. What's he, what's he getting a fight there, or is he just tagging out a runner? I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it looks a little weird. All right, let me, me pre-spin. Mike Dunn. <laughs> He'll probably throw you up for a loop, and <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Tracy Woodson. Man. Oh, it's <laughs> well, that, okay. And they flipped it on you. Mike Lacrosse. Yeah, Mike Lacrosse. And we got two. Uh, uh, they had those, they had a bunch of those stickers too. Yeah. Indians go a little chief. <laughs> probably not, but a little chief Wahoo action. Yeah. Red Sox. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin like Spitzer. He's, like yeah. he's stepped on a duck or something. Like yeah. He's in, like a, he's in like a scary movie, like yeah. hokey horror movie. He's like tiptoeing away. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, maybe it's like. <laughs> Jeff Pico. He's got an interesting leg kick there. Alvin Davis. All right. Good infielder. I don't remember him. Yeah, he's a, he played for a long time. Tim Burke. Le Exposed. It's, it's a good, nice looking jersey there. Yeah. Stan Javier. Mike Witt. I think I have one left. 
Oh, maybe two. Maybe two. Carlton Fisk. All right, a little Hall of Famer action. Yeah. I feel like we've picked, we've pulled Carlton Fisk in multiple through the uh, decades. <laughs> I think we, yeah, the seventies packs, eighties packs. I think you're probably right. And, and Dave, Dave Leiper. Leaper, Leiper. All right. Well, I think uh, I think I got a good chance of beating this time because you did not pick all that that well. Yeah, Carlton no, Fisk, oil can Boyd. I mean, no like, rookies though. No rookies no, and no. no rookies. Uh, no superstars for sure. No, no, that wasn't the best. I mean, if Carlton Fisk is, it's got to be the tail end of his career on that one, right? He didn't play that much longer. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah. All right. So the second pack up. It's hard to get started, but here we go. Yeah, I wonder how, how these, these probably are not very easy to, uh, are almost impossible to tamper. Uh, tamper. Yeah. Ah, Kent to Colby starting it yeah. off. Look at that, <laughs> that looks like he's, he's got punched in the nuts or something. <laughs> yeah, that is not that's not like a good pitching pose. Like I mean, Kent to Colby was not exactly an attractive man to begin with, and like they got him in the absolute worst like yeah. action shot you can get. Yeah, how they literally he's throwing it right. <laughs> he, was no, a, he's like, he was a submarine guy, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. All right, next up, Kelly Gruber. I do. Okay, he's pretty good. Yeah, I sold a Kelly Gruber game used bat. Maybe it's that bat right there. Could be. Denny Walling. I don't remember him. Jim Gott. Uh, you already got a better pack. Not not to play off the word Gott, but you already got a better pack because I'm I'm not spinning these cards in circles I, already. <laughs> you got a less annoying pack. Oh, there oh we go. now we're back. Why did I speak too soon? Kevin Bass. I, I, they did not do these guys justice on these photos. Oral. There, there, we, go. there we go. Oral Hershiser. That was probably his heyday, right? Like he's probably one of yeah. the best pitchers. Yeah. I mean, he was a rookie in about 85. So this is like definitely a, his young, probably the peak of his career. Yeah. And I, I'm going to disagree. These cards, the photos in 89 upper deck were like state of the art. They were. The they were. I'm just saying, I, don't, I mean, the, the, the shots of the actual oh, photos are, are are nice. I mean, like the, the poses. quality. The yeah, poses. yeah, yeah. Oh, right. oh, here we go. Nails, Lenny Dykstra. Boy, how how have, he has fallen. Huh? Have you seen like what he's like now? Uh, I haven't seen him very recently, but yeah, obviously it's I, definitely a absolute oh, lunatic. Yeah. All right. Oh, we get the stickers. We got the Brewers. You got the Reds. And you got Alan Ashby. All right. Cal Daniels. Oh, I, I remember these. Yeah. Yeah. George yeah. Brett. I don't know if that's like a, that's his collector's choice. It's almost like a Diamond King style card. Yeah. Uh, you got the checklist. <laughs> Dave Anderson. This was had a had a lot of cards, right? If I'm not mistaken, like hundred, like five or six hundred, if not more. Probably, yeah. Are these okay. They're, that that one's just sticking a little bit. They're not okay. Brett Butler All right. had a long career. Good hitter. I remember him. He had like the lowest batting stance ever, right? He was like super. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah I don't remember him. Very low. I don't remember his stance. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. These are sticking together a little bit. Don't ruin my Griffey. He's going on back here. Okay. That one's coming that way. Okay. All right. I got it. Lance Blankenship. That's a rookie, though. There you go. Okay, I, didn't see that. I didn't even see that. See, yeah, see what he's not. See when you have a chance, see what number is. I bet like it's a low number. I think they put all the rookies first. You might like the next card. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Fielder. That's uh, I guess that's pre Tigers, though, right? Like he, he didn't yeah. play. I'm trying to think if he played after. No, he was a rookie in 80, 86 tops. Was his rookie card. So yeah, I have, his, I have his rookie card here. I was about to get it sent out for uh, grading. Nice. Yeah, 85 rookie year. 
Let's see, he had a. Uh, yeah, he was pretty late bloomer in the home run department. Yeah, he he got. <laughs> He, I mean, you look at him though. He's a lot. He was kind of slim there. <laughs> that slim. Well, look at him later on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he only had a. Uh, I didn't have a ton of the bats. So he was probably a part-time player. But yeah, uh, fourteen home runs, nine home runs. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, but that's probably the best card we pulled so out of the out of the group, though. Yeah. You know, he's a big uh, Cecil Fielder fan. Is uh, Carry American Arbitrage. Oh really? He's like he uh, he's, I think that's one of the pet cards he le would love to pull as a Cecil Fielder rookie. What what set is yours? Uh, I think it's tops, but okay. All right, so that wraps it up, guys. So fun fun throwback pack there, a pair of packs, eighty nine upper deck. Tell us in the comments who did better. I feel like my pack wasn't great. No, so, but he, no. he did pull the Cecil Fielder, so cool card. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I put out a picking video every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. We have a live podcast with a giveaway every week, Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. And if you like pack ripping, check out our new channel, a relatively new channel, Rips and Brews. We do beer, beer tasting paired with card ripping. We've ripped a lot of cool, uh, cool modern, and we're going to have some vintage stuff over there as well. So uh, check us out, Rips and Brews. I'll see you next week, guys. Peace. Oh.